What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Sunday Leagues Investors channel. My name is Brian and if you don't know who the Sunday Leagues Investors are, we do everything soccer cards and we document basically our journey in the soccer card hobby. Um, this special, this episode is going to be really special because we're actually going to be grading grading our cards and it's gonna be our first bulk submission so that's really exciting we've done grading once um, it was really surprising we usually only buy our cards graded just because we're lazy and we don't really trust ourselves to grade but we have so many raw cards so we're gonna be grading a lot of different cards so we might as well just do a huge bulk submission for PSA and yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun I can show you guys what we're gonna grade some tips or some some our perspectives on what we're gonna what we're thinking and everything like that so it'll help you all out and also first off though make sure to like and subscribe that would mean the world to us for our YouTube channel I know a lot of people are thinking about um, getting a soccer hobby just share it share it to your friends and everything like that and it'll be a lot of fun um, so we're gonna go on our way to Luigi's place me Bob and Luigi are gonna be meeting up and everything like that so it'll be a lot of fun so we are here and it looks like Luigi got a PS5 and a new TV. Jeez, man. What a life, what a life. What's up, what's up? I'm recording. Hey, welcome to Claremont, <coughs> boys. Oh, you what's got a new TV? Be? Yeah, man, come through, come through. Dude, okay. Hey, she's up, she's Dude, up. My fault, my fault, man. <laughs> Here, buddy. <laughs> is, she, is this normal? Is this normal? Yeah. Like my house? We're super hungry, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat, then we'll grade. Bob, you want to explain what why grading is, you know, Luigi? Why, why do you explain why grading is important? Why grading is important? Yeah, because it gives more value to the car, man. We. Yeah. But on the real reason why we're grading. And if you're wondering why people are grading is because the spread of how grading and raw cards sell is humongous, right? Like what's a PSA 10 Messi, like $500? For what? PSA 10, oh, Messi Prism 2014. I don't remember, it was, it was high back in the day. <laughs> it was $500 and if you buy a raw, it's like $100. So if, you could, if you're good at grading solely, you don't even have to know soccer, you literally could make a profit of living if you just know how to grade. Luigi was just talking about how you you listed your row Jimenez, right? It was a dual auto. Oh yeah, it was a dual auto. Yeah. <laughs> I listed him, and I was getting dude. I got like some five offers, like back to back, and then all of a sudden his injury happened. Yeah, we're back to the offer. <laughs> Nothing. Not not a single one. Yeah. It's uh, it's bad. Dude, yeah. I, I didn't see it. Do you? Did you get see? Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Okay, I heard that. Like, people said the sound was like crazy. Like, the, if you guys don't know, he's fractured his skull, and somehow David Luiz stayed in the game. Yeah, he got a hard <laughs> head, you know. Yeah, I don't even know how that happened, but yeah, man. Sorry, Luigi. He will come back soon, man. I promise. Hey, but if you guys are interested, you know. <laughs> you know, let's say you bought this car a while back, right? And you've been keeping this car because you love it, you know, and you actually interested in knowing like how good your car is um, condition wise, you know? Yeah. This is a good, it, it, it's definitely a good way to know. Send it to PSA or BGS, get it back. And then you're like, hey, this is, my car sucked because I got a PSA 6. <laughs> that's, that's messed up. Wow! Okay. Yeah. PSA 6? Wow! Three grading companies, SGC, PSA, BGS. I don't know why I said SGC first, but PSA is probably number one. Um, out of everybody because they have a it, the PSA tends a little bit more attainable um, BGS has been having some issues you guys heard about the fake slabs yeah yeah it's yeah. like they've been having some real mad issues but um, you know PSA if you want the most money uh, profit wise PSA is the way to go so we're gonna be submitting a bulk submission of all these cards we're gonna be looking at all these cards together um, we got boxes I mean Bob literally boxes. open that up open that up <laughs> yeah see, well, see what you guys got this ain't like the Renato one but yeah, oh, no. oh, it's a little oh, anticlimactic. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. so there's a lot of stuff we're gonna be looking into. Um, the reason why we're doing a bulk submission is because it's cheaper. We're not, we don't have money like that, even though you, some of y'all might think that we did after that last video. Um, and we're doing it between us three, plus Keen. Keen has some cards, uh, some Pokemon cards, I think. 
<laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> yeah, why <you> have... <laughs> and usually when you do a bulk submission, the only way to do it now is you have to go through a dealer. So there's a lot of different dealers. We're working out a deal with um, some dealers to see if we get you the best deal. So we're gonna go, we're gonna talk, talk about it later probably, but um, yeah, we're gonna start it out and the cool thing about bulk submission or the worst thing about the bulk submission is that you're not gonna get this stuff back until what? How long? 20, 26 hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. So what we're doing right now is we're trying to have all the cards that we want to grade, then we're gonna look at them. We're trying to just have our piles going on. Looks like Luigi has a bigger pile than us. Ain't nobody holding us back. Calculated decisions, I can't remember reason all my loved ones who didn't get a chance to live life the way that I'm living because they died too young and got caught in the system. This is elemental sin. So the ways of how PSA grades or VGS grades, don't mind Luigi and Bob in the background, but basically um, they have, there's four ways. There's four, four criteria. There's centering, there hey. is corners, there is edges, and there's surface. Hey. So essentially the corners and the edges has to be sharp. So when people say sh they have to be sharp, like literally they have to be sharp. They don't want any dent in the corners. Yeah, if you can take it and stop someone with it, then it's sharp. <laughs> there we go, yeah. Yeah, so if that works, then you're good. Um, centering, you wanna see how the borders are working. So every card is kind of different. Uh, so we'll show a little bit about that when we're doing our, hey, our thing and everything like that. And then the surface is probably the biggest thing. One of the biggest thing about surface is you have to see if there's any indentions, any markings. Is it yellowing? All those things matter. This is Bro, good stuff right here, man. It's heavy, oh my God. Packs after packs of your, of your boy. Your boy, and I, and I got more. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Here we go. Oh, oh, you, oh my God, you loaded up packs this guy. after packs. Oh my God. Look, look. Dude, look at that stack. Hey, this is what, you know, you invest in one player. You don't divert. <laughs> You want to explain to people what this is? It's a magnifying glass. Even lights up, right? Lights up. Lights up features. So why do we use it? We try to look at the card at very close. Well, we turn it on and look at the surface. But yeah, so your idea is you, you showed you indentions, scratches, and stuff. I don't know if we can show it, but. Yeah, these micro microfiber cloth are really good for cleaning up the cards, especially if you have like little surface stuff. I'll tell you what, Tops Chrome, Y'all scratch really easy. I was showing the boys, this is what PSA does. Nine. <laughs> five. And then they spin a wheel for a 10, right? Hey, I'm tired, 10. <laughs> All right, so this is basically a preliminary grading uh, step one, I think, because I we didn't think it was gonna be this much work. Oh, right, did, you, did you think it was gonna be this a lot of work? No. I don't know, my eyes are tired, man. <laughs> I think we've only been doing this for like an hour max. Yeah, I, I think it's it's this is gonna be a multi-part series. So we're separating. So what, basically, what we did, like we talked about, we put the cards that we wanted to be graded in a separate pile. Then we start looking at them. Um, with our cards, we saw a lot of damage on the surface. It's not even like a centering thing. It was like scratches, like on tops Chrome, on Prism. Uh, these are things that you gotta watch out for. I know it, a tip that usually people give is when you buy raw cards try to look at the seller the ebay seller store to see if they're selling raw cards and graded cards because if they still if they're selling graded cards chances are they're probably they know what type of condition their card is in so they wouldn't sell it raw if they knew it was gradable and i think we bought from a lot of sellers that had graded cards bob it's all right we learn we learn <laughs> like guys like we bought i mean stacks of Cristiano Ronaldo 2016 Prism and like a lot of them have really bad print lines but you guys should let us know though like should we be over really critical because we're not sure we're just being overly critical because last time we got PSA 6 because we were too careless so I don't know we're in the whole other end of the spectrum so we only have 13 cards or 20 cards or whatever it is um and Luigi's just, just throwing them in in his pile <laughs> look like look yeah, he's already he's just, he's just, like, he didn't even look at it he's just throwing them in hey yeah it sucks um Cause you, you end up buying a bunch of raw cards. You, most of the time you don't even check them until you want them to send them out to get graded. And then you start looking at them and all in bad shape. Man. <laughs> That's a defeated man. 90% of them. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna break down like some of the cards that we're looking at. We got this Chris Pulisic Silver. We got this for, I think about like $30 during the COVID year period. We got this for like $20, a Ronaldo 1996. Six. Oh wow, that's cool, 96. That's sick. We didn't even check the, the condition. We just know we want to grade it. Sometimes you want to do that. 
sometimes you just don't want to do that with vintage. That's what Luigi's doing a lot. He just like, he has a ton of vintage. Even if you get the PSA 5, 6, 8, or, like you will be able to still make a lot of money. And then here, can't, Lee King in. He's gonna be transferring soon. I just don't know when, but I don't think he's gonna be making noise within six what, months. What source you got that from? Uh, that's the Brian source. <laughs> then I don't know, this looks just really cool, so. Then we have Andres Iniesta, the Asion. Then we have Jude Bellingham. Hopefully he'll be relevant after yeah, six months. Then we have Pedri. There's what? There's none in the PSA market. We have this market. really cool yeah, so it's it's <laughs> Phil Foden. Zinedine Zidane 2006. Cups now? Another 96 Ronaldo. All of them? No, it's probably it's five. We have another R9. And our loan 2016 Euro Prism. Come here, come here. Okay, okay, yes. Come here, come here. We got Raneiguita, 1990 World Cup. Escobar, 1990 World Cup. You're really gonna break down every single card? Yeah, can you fast forward this? Yeah. <laughs> uh. yeah. <laughs> One of these, I had like, oh, two of these, I guess. Got a lot of Renatos. Two messes. One of them has to be a 10. Ooh, Mario, look at that. Well, none of our more Romero's tricked out? Yeah, I didn't wanna. I don't think it'll be. These I gotta pick one. I, gotta, I put I put all three of them. Oh in whoa! There, but I, I haven't even checked them. Uh, the Rama. Dude, that's a, dude, that's a big one right there. That looks amazing. Look at that centering though. Wow. Holy crap! Was that Asensio? Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is the first step of our PSA grading submission, and hopefully the next video we'll show you guys how we're gonna be putting in them in top loaders, right? And card savers, right? They're yeah, called card savers. Because, um, yeah, that's, a, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, and we're gonna hopefully get a partner with us that is a PSA submission group. So we can hopefully get you guys some deals as well. Um, and just kind of give you guys the whole entire process of the of our, our PSA grading journey, you know? Because like, the thing is, if that 2016 Prism, if the print lines are not that big a deal, then that changes the whole entire game. Then we can almost, some whole lot. So you can set a ton more. So we're just being overly critical, which Bob kind of had a point. You don't want, we were super careless with the PSA 6 Ronaldo, so we want to be overly critical. Um, but yeah, I think with that being said though, guys, I hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed the video. Let me know any grading tips or anything like that, especially for us, Luigi, um, or any tools that we should look out for. Would you want to add anything else? Um, this was tough. This was tough. <laughs> But yeah, man. It was a lot of fun though. It was fun, it was fun. Yeah. It was definitely fun. I mean, and when you look at all these cards, you know, you kind of remember when you bought them and how happy, yeah, how dude, happy you were dude, and yeah, all dude, that. But no, it's crazy. A lot of these cards you bought for so cheap. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, you know, back in the day. <laughs> so make sure to rate and subscribe. That would mean the world to us. And comment down below. Comment down below your grading tips and everything like that. Like I said, that being said, love you guys. Talk to you guys soon.